These are the first two dogs we're going to show you today, and they are Gizmo and Spike. Gizmo is a Yorkie. He's five years old. He's a neutered male. A little bit shy. Doesn't play with toys. Doesn't know any commands. I mean, all he wants is petting and love. Gentle taking treats and very sweet once he gets to know you. Loves to be petted just about everywhere and wants to jump in your lap. But there's one very special thing about him. He's the caregiver to his special friend, Spike. Spike is a Morky, that is a Maltese Yorkie cross, if I remember correctly. He's four years old. He is a very sweet boy, but he's totally deaf. Gizmo takes care of him. Gizmo leads him around. Gizmo hears commands and makes sure that Spike's okay. Um, Spike doesn't like to be picked up. He gets frightened, and that's because he can't hear you coming. Um, he wants toys and he's possessive of his toys, so he doesn't like you to try to take them away. Now, Gizmo and Spike, I'm told, have a very special toy that they share. That toy's name is Homer, and Homer has got to go home with the two of them. So these two, because they are so interdependent and so loving of one another, must go home together. They are both little, they are both easy care, they are both no shed. They are both loving and they are both sweet. And they're at a great age. They are young enough to be playful, old enough not to be destructive. Can't say enough great things about these guys. But to get one, you need to want two. Gizmo and Spike love each other. Spike desperately needs to be with his caregiver, Gizmo. And so they have to go home together. The dog you're looking at now is Rumor. Rumor is a spayed female. She's six years old. She is a Collie Aussie mix. She's very sweet. She's very loving. She has just gotten over being treated for heartworm. And she's now heartworm negative, which means that she can run and play for the first time since treatment began. She loves to be touched and petted just about anywhere on her body. She loves to be brushed. She learns tricks easily. All she needs is a little help from a treat. She's not real energetic yet because she's just gotten over the heartworm treatment. And she's got to start getting back into the swim of playing and loving. But, man, she once she gets going, she can go and go and go. She loves to be petted. She loves to lay with you on the couch. So if you want to sit down for a movie and your feet are getting a little cold, though that probably won't happen in the summertime, she is your blanket, your cuddler, your snuggler, and your love. Sweet as she could be, gentle, loving dog. Her name is Rumor, and she's ready to go home and be all healthy and loving and well. The dog you're looking at now is Dragonfly. Dragonfly is a one-year-old spayed female Amstaff. That's right, the notorious pit bull terrier. Uh, and she is as sweet a dog as you'd ever want to be around. She knows sit, she knows come, she knows down. She's great with kids. She's great with cats. She's great with other dogs. She does play rough with toys, and she may destroy some toys for you. And she tends to snatch her treats, and that's something she has to learn to get over. But she gets free training for life, and I don't know if that's through the shelter or um, through the... Do we know how she gets free training for life? Okay. But when you, when you come look at her, you can find out about it because that's what I'm told is the case with this girl when she goes out. Because she does pull a little on her leash. She loves to play. She loves to play with people. She's very food motivated. Give her a treat and she'll follow you anywhere. Sweet, loving, beautiful, energetic, playful, happy dog. <laughs> and everything bad that you've heard about pit balls, she is absolutely not. This is Dragonfly. She is a sweetheart with the happiest tail you'll ever see. <laughs> and she'd love to go home with you. The dog you're looking at now is Minnie. Minnie is an 11-year-old dachshund, shy with new people. She walks very nicely on a leash when she wants to, and other than that, she gets a little stubborn. She's more of an explorer than a cuddler. Can't see that she's responding to commands, and she wasn't real interested in the squeaky toys. But she likes kids, and she takes treats nicely, and she's absolutely lovely. And I think that when she gets to know you and gets a little bit secure, you might find that there's a lot more play in this girl than we were thinking of. Hey, Minnie. Because she's lovely.
Yes, look at that pretty face. This is a sweet, loving dog. And if you like doxies, this little girl is absolutely wonderful. Her name is Minnie. This is Donnie. And Donnie is going to be a big boy. Because he's only five months old. And he's already a nice, medium-sized dog and still growing. Playful, energetic, strong, puppy wild. Tends to get mouthy when he's playing. He needs lots of training. He doesn't know any commands besides sit, and he doesn't always sit. He takes treats gently. He's good with kids and other dogs. But it says here, no cats, please. So <laughs> I kind of think that cats wouldn't be the best idea. This is going to be a big, active, energetic, strong, playful guy with lots of oomph and lots of go. But he's beautiful, and he's sweet, and there isn't an ounce of malice in him. He's absolutely adorable, and his name is Donnie. Now, if you're looking for a sweet little cuddler, you look no further than Carnation. She's seven years old. She's a spayed female minpin. A little bit chunky, but that's okay. She doesn't mind. Um, she is affectionate. All she wants is attention from people. You got to be careful because she'll try to follow you out the door, and so you got to watch and make sure she doesn't take off with you. She's great with kids. She's good with some other dogs as long as she doesn't find them threatening. But she is outgoing and perky and happy and smiling and absolutely adorable. This is a sweet, playful, happy, loving little dog. And man, if you wanted, if you wanted a great companion, just somebody to bounce around with and then sit on your lap when you watch TV, you could not do better than Carnation. And this pretty girl is Leola. She's a nine-year-old lab mix. She's kind of an independent soul. She does her own thing, and then every once in a while, she kind of comes up to you and says, okay, I'm allowing you the honor of petting me. She knows sit, come, stay, and down. She does pull on a leash. She's never been taught to walk nice, and she needs some education. And believe it or not, although she's nine, and they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks, that's hooey. Old dogs have more brains than young dogs, and they learn a whole lot faster. Uh, she doesn't like her tail touched, but her favorite thing to do is roll around in the grass. She is a sweet little girl. <laughs> She'd like to come over and climb in our laps, and her name is Leola. The dog you're looking at now is Boudreaux. Boudreaux is a neutered male. He's uh, 13 years old. He is a lab Great Dane cross. Uh, his favorite thing is to play outside. He doesn't like toys, but he knows sit and give paw and stay and come and down, walks nicely on a leash, is gentle and loving and great with kids and good with other dogs as well. This is one big boy. This is a big, happy, sweet boy. And very frankly, he doesn't show his age, except in a little bit of gray on his face. He's aging gracefully and beautifully. And yeah, he doesn't have it a, lot of, a whole lot of years ahead of him. But he is the sweetest guy, and he really, really, really needs people to share the, the love in him with for the years he has left. And if you think you'd like to be the beneficiary of that love, which is wonderful, then come on out and take a look at Boudreaux. This is the last dog we're going to show you today, and he is indeed our special needs dog. His name is Cornbread. He's a four-year-old chihuahua, and he has epilepsy. He's a foster to adopt. It's a special program whereby instead of outright adopting the dog, you take it as a foster and save a pet underwrites the medical care for the dog. Uh, very sweet. He likes to sit on your shoulder perched like a parrot. Likes being with people. He does great with kids. He's very sweet. He's good with other dogs. He's a little scared. He's afraid of the camera. There's no question. He has seen that camera and he's not quite sure how close he wants to come to it. This is a beautiful little boy. He's tiny, he's sweet, he's loving, he loves to play, and he loves people to pieces. He's going to need to be medicated for the epilepsy to prevent seizures. And uh, I'm assuming that they have him under control now with medication. If they don't, this is something medication does a real good job of controlling. So as long as he's on meds and you're willing to take the responsibility for seeing that he gets his medication... He will do just fine. His name is Cornbread. He is absolutely darling. 
And if you're looking for a little guy and you're willing to be responsible enough to make sure that he gets his meds and he gets cared for, you will have a terrific companion for lots and lots of wonderful years. This is Cornbread. On the 12th of July, Save a Pet is having its Petathlon. This is one of the big fundraisers for the shelter and they are having a dog walk. It is in conjunction with Libertyville Dog Days and it is at Cook Park in Libertyville. Um, there is pre-registration, and if you pre-register, you're going to get a goodie bag, and let's see, what did they say here? You get a goodie bag, a, ban a pet bandana, and even a t-shirt, and you get to participate in a dog walk. And there are virtual walkers who don't participate, who just want to support the organization. So you have your choice of doing it either way, and it is a lot of fun when a whole herd of dogs goes walking together. It just is absolutely wonderful, the feeling of camaraderie and knowing that every penny raised at Pentathlon goes directly to the shelter to benefit the animals here. So again, it is the 12th. If you want information on Pentathlon, do call the shelter at 740-7788, that's an 847 area code, and get as much information as you can. It is the 12th of July. It is a whole lot of fun. And Libertyville will have all kinds of dog-related events going on on that day. So it's a great time to come with the family and the dog or dogs and spend the day just having fun. Petathlon is the 12th of July. Please get involved. Give us a call. Get the information that we can give you.